Hello, my name is Michael Garcia. This is for class CE 478. Uh, the date today is October 23rd, 2020. And for my construction failure blog, I will be covering the FIU pedestrian bridge collapse. So, um, Florida International University, also known as FIU, is located um, in Miami, Florida. Uh, the date of this collapse, of this uh, bridge collapse slash construction failure, occurred March 15th, 2018. So here is the bridge prior to collapse. As you can see, um, you know, there's heavy equipment that is moving the bridge that's going to be placed on this uh, pillar here and also on this pillar here. So here's a structural analysis breakdown. So here's the south pier. Here is the uh, other pylon pier. Here's the deck where pedestrians were, you know, were to walk. The canopy overhead basically provides shade. And there's these diagonal members here that are acting as the structural supports for this bridge. And the whole point of this bridge was like there's a um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost eight, you could say eight to ten lanes of traffic that uh, pedestrians have to walk through. So much easier to create pedestrian bridges. We see these in Albuquerque a lot. Um, there's plenty of them all over town. You know, they just installed a brand new one um, over Central across from, uh, it's at the Presbyterian Hospital going to the new hotel on Central. Um, it's going to be the Spring Hill Suites. So, I mean, th these aren't uncommon. These are something that are, you know, used in everyday life. Okay, here is a picture of the failure slash collapse of the bridge. As you can see, there are first responders on scene. Um, you can see the bridge collapsed pretty much. Um, you know, there's vehicles underneath it. You can see the structural members failed here. Um, as you can see, the canopy collapsed right on down. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other pictures. Um, I think this was a more recent first responder one in the last picture there's a lot more traffic a lot more people on scene um you know trying to clear debris and rescue people here you can clearly see um there was vehicles crushed so i mean there was a, a lot of extensive damage done when this uh bridge collapsed and when this uh failure happened with this structural structural pedestrian bridge So here's the failure breakdown. This occurred during a post-tension rod adjustment. So the bridge had actually already been constructed and built. Um, they were tensioning the steel cable that was, uh, you know, within the concrete of that. And while that happened, um, while they were tensioning that, there was traffic flowing during that adjustment. So there's traffic going on under the bridge. Basically, the reason that it failed and collapsed was because the design was flawed. Um, and what that comes down to is uh, the strength of the bridge was overestimated. Um, you know, the, uh, the engineers, they believed that the, you know, they overestimated the, the strength of the bridge. And they also underestimated on top of that, the expected load of, you know, what the bridge was supposed to support and carry. So basically how this could have been prevented. So the main error here was by um, the engineering firm. Um, firm that was a uh, fig bridge engineers their load and capacity calculation um, They had you know big really big flaws and errors and they are to blame for the failure. So um, This failure is also a perfect example of why quality control checks are crucial to project to projects and uh, also project safety um, You know this basically comes down to inadequate peer review by fig bridge engineers if they would have checked each other better and checked each other's math and calculations, this failure could have definitely most likely been prevented. Now, my reflection, my main takeaway from this was, uh, you know, there was uh, six deaths involved, eight injuries, and eight vehicles were crushed by the bridge. So this could have all been prevented, you know, let, let, let's say, you know, even with the post tensioning and the wrong calculations on the load and capacity, you know, this loss of life and the injury to humans could have been prevented if there would have been a traffic control plan set in place just blocking traffic that day. As you could see in the earlier pictures, 
there was uh, definitely a traffic control plan. There is no traffic during the construction of the bridge, you know, obviously for safety reasons. So if that day they would have had a traffic control plan in place blocking all lanes of traffic on that road, um, you know, all this death and injuries could have been prevented. Even, you know, with, like I said, with the failure still, still occurring, the, the loss of life and injuries could have definitely been prevented if traffic was not flowing under the bridge during that post tensioning. So that's it. That's my first uh, failure blog. Thank you guys.